remove your front wheel. First thing I'm going to do is break away the caliper sliding bolt, 12 millimeter wrench or socket. I just want to break them free so that when I break the flex hose off, I'm not moving this thing around and getting fluid to pop out. Now with a 9 16 wrench, I'm going to break free this caliper banjo bolt. That's where the fluid comes in from the flex hose. And you're going to get a mess. So I have a catch pan. Now you're going to want to make sure, if you're not replacing your flex hose, that the copper washer is off on the bolt side. And let's see if it's stuck on the caliper side. And it is. The new caliper comes with a new banjo bolt and new copper washers. First thing I like to do is apply the hose. So I'm going to put the new copper washer on the new banjo bolt. Slide it right through the hose. I'm going to put the other copper washer on that. Then I can grab my new caliper and line up that flat part of that flex hose with the caliper before it, definitely before it gets tightened. So hand start it. So once it's started, you can get your socket, or ratchet, and start tightening it down. I'm just going to snug it, make sure it's, try to get it to stop leaking, and then I'll let it hang down here while I take the caliper off. These are also the sliding pins, and the caliper comes with new bolts also for this, because you don't want these to be contaminated. You want them to have a nice sliding surface. Now you can just grab it and slide it right out. So now you're going to take your old pads off and transfer them from the old caliper to the new one. The in inboard one, I would take off last because it comes out with a set of springs. So on the outboard, these little butterfly clips, just push down on it and slide it out. And then pop it right out. So even though they're a new caliper, I always make sure that they put enough uh, grease inside this caliper slider pin because you just don't want it to break down on you. So I'll take this, there we go. Now I'm going to put a little bit more silicone paste in there. So what I like to do is just cover the hole up on both, of them, both sides. In this case, if I had a small pocket screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver, I could use that, but I'm going to use the old mounting bolts. And I'm just going to make sure it's inside these grooves of the, bellow, of the boots, because that's what's going to keep it sliding from the future, is that it will take that paste as it heats up. Now I can slide in my new slider. Make sure it's clear of any debris. I'm going to push it all the way through. And you'll feel both sides get locked into that right here, into the grooves. And move it back and forth. Now that's a good, good slider. No future chances of that seizing up. Now I've got both of my sliders all siliconed up, ready to go. I'm going to put my inner pad in first, line those three tabs up, and then just push it flush. And the outside is going to be just lined that metal tab up. Slide it down. You would check your knuckle to make sure that there's no major rust clips, you know, chips there, and there isn't. So now we can just slide this right down in. I'm going to go bottom in first. Make sure your slider's out of the way. Now with your new mounting bolts, hand start. Both of them. That way you know they're centered. 12 millimeter wrench or socket, just bottom them out. Then we're going to get the torque specs and torque them up. So the mounting specs for these two bolts is 7 to 15 foot pounds. I'm going to go with 12 foot pounds. And the reason why it kind of seems light is because it's the actual sliding pins themselves, not a caliper bracket to knuckle. So I'm just going to go right in the middle and go to 12. That way I know it's definitely tight, but it's not going to break it. Just double check. Now I'm just going to grab my 916 wrench and I'm going to snug up the flex hose. 
I want to make sure that those copper washers in that new banjo boat seat properly. And this is where we're going to gravity bleed it. So I'm going to just take the rubber boot off. And you want to protect this. You want to put this back on. It stops dirt, road salt, sand, all the above from getting inside there and making that useless. 3 8 wrench. And I'm just going to open this bleeder screw and we're going to gravity bleed that. I've already checked my massive cylinder and I topped it off. Once you've gravity bled this and you see no more air bubbles, just snug it up and put the rubber boot back on. Took the wheels to 100 foot-pounds.